All right, welcome back to another tutorial from InformationCenterLive.com. What we're going to be doing on this tutorial is in, in Excel, we're going to work with a scenario where someone asks you to count the number of text items in a row. Let's say you've got a list of customers and someone has already captured whether they have been paid or not or whether they have paid you. Either way, uh, what you want to do is you've got a list of several hundred items, 20, 30 items. You definitely don't want to sit and count them all day long. So what you want to do is develop a template to where you can just go ahead and uh, place a formula at the bottom of the columns and it'll count it for you. So for that function, we're going to go ahead and use the count if formula. So let's let's look at the uh, let's look at what we've got here. We just typed in uh, typed in the uh, pound sign so for the number paid. Don't really you can put anything you want in there. Next column was the not paid. Okay. So now what we can do is we're ready to start our ready to start our formula. We'll use the count if. So we type in count if. And it automatically comes up and tells me that, you know, counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition. So what we do is, on count if, the structure is this. What we do, put in the range. Now with Excel, you can either manually type in the range, which would be, if we look at the range, it would be C, column C, column C2. We'll start at C2 for the row. And that would be to C8. Okay, so what, what we can do though is grab just the first row and how you see the, what they call the, the dancing ants. We'll come around that uh, selection that you've got because you're in the middle of a formula and it, know, it realizes that. Pull this down, okay, now you can see that what you've done is through the selection process you've filled your range, C2 through C8. So you could have typed, uh, you could have typed it in as well. Uh, for extremely long numbers, though, typing it in is, is pretty fast. All right, now we've got a comma separating that. Shows you right here in the actual formula. Then we want to look for, let's, we're going to look for a number paid. So we're going to say it's paid. We've got to say we've got to find out a Y. So we close our formula off, and that finishes the formula. Hit Enter, and it gives you the number of Ys the letter Y that it found in the column C from C2 to C8. So we can quickly check that real quick. So the number of paid, there's one, two, three, four. So it counted those correctly. Now all we need to do, if you want to, you can just pull down, grab the little uh, the tag on the end of this sheet here, on the end of this cell. Pull that down. Now. What you're going to do is it's going to say the number of Y's that it counts from that point on, but that's an incorrect, that is an incorrect formula because it's going C3 through, through C9. That's a shortcut. You can come up here and say, sorry, but that's not what I want to do. Manually type in C2, showing you the span, the blue arrow showing, uh, the blue tri uh, blue rectangle, sorry, is showing you the span. Then you go to C8, just like the other one did. Okay, get rid of that. And we're wanting to look for N this time, for no. Now you'll get the correct formula. There you go. So we should have three not paid. So we know these aren't the, these are Y, Y, no. There's our three right there. One, two, three. Now let's say, okay, we go back in here. Maybe this person's check bounced. And then these are dynamic. So they're, they're going to update whatever we've got in here. So let's say this uh, Sam Jones, say change that to a no, and now we've got our numbers changed. There you go. And that is using the count if function to check a column of rows.